I warn you now before you start to think something's wrong with the screen or your vision. You're gonna see some crazy ass hieroglyphics and shit on the screen and that is perfectly fucking normal. But don't be surprised if after five minutes you start to get the headache from that shit. <laughs> Anyways, I got some more Mass Effect 3 and this time we got to get the engineer and since this game took 24 minutes to complete, I'm only gonna show the final few waves of this motherfucker just so we can get this down to a normal commentary time. So that's what I'm talking about. All the hieroglyphics in this motherfucker, and I'm gonna explain that a little bit later. But seriously, man, Bioware, you need to come up with mini rounds or some shit. We just do like five waves of the motherfucker, man. We gotta shorten this shit up to something. Like 10 minutes, man, because this is a fucking killer. Anyways, I got some geth on geth violence. <laughs> and for those who know what the fuck is going on, yes, my character is killing his own people. No, I don't have time to explain how that shit works in Mass Effect. But trust me, if you played the story of Mass Effect, they explain it in the storyline, they explain it in the campaign and all that shit. So feel free to Google it because I don't have time to explain all that motherfucker. But anyway, the shit you're seeing on the screen, all that crazy crap on the side and all the graphics and shit, that's a power called... Hunter mode, and it happens to be one of the guest powers within this motherfucker, which is like a straight rip off from the movie Predator in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, remember that? And the funny thing is, there's another guest character in the game, he has invisibility. So just like Predator in the fucking movie, and I'm talking like the Schwarzenegger movie, not the bullshit that came after that motherfucker. He has the, almost the same exact power. So apparently, somebody was watching that movie a long time ago and figured that this character would be just like Predator, except they eliminated the dreadlocks and all that crazy shit that they had up in that motherfucker. But anyway. This is one of the powers that we have, and you know, the power itself really doesn't do much other than it allows you to see shit through walls, which is fucking helpful. I mean, that's the main thing that you can visually see, but some of the other things that it does, it just doesn't, you don't feel it. Like, for example, I have a speed burst, or I have like accuracy burst, or I have, you know, I have all small shit that you don't see, but you feel. This shit, you fucking see. Obviously, you see it on the screen, because that shit gets give you a goddamn headache after like 10 minutes of watching this motherfucker, man. But anyway. The group that I'm playing with right now consists of one decent player and two completely lost fucking idiots. So I was trying to keep the decent player alive, and you guys are going to see I'm going to take two deaths in these final two rounds. One's trying to get the motherfucker and help him, and then I'm like, oh, fuck it, I'm going to die. Then the other one was just my stupidity and my teammate's stupidity. Well, whatever. You'll take a look at this shit, man. I'll tell you right now, I've been playing this shit for a while, and the fact is you're going to come across idiots. I said it in the last video I did on Mass Effect. You're going to have Modern Warfare 3 idiots. You're going to have Call of Duty idiots. You're going to have Mass Effect idiots. So this game has a number of fucking idiots. Now the idea here is we need to kill four targets. That's what the final objective of this motherfucker is. We want to make sure we kill all four targets and the quicker you do it, the more money you get. So obviously, we want to do this shit quick. But the problem that you're gonna have, uh, right there we killed one of those motherfuckers. The problem you're gonna have is they throw all kinds of shit at you. You got all kinds of enemies that are basically, you're just trying to fight and survive and save your ass at this point. So what I'm just hoping is these randoms actually help me. That's all I need. That's all I need the motherfuckers to do. So right there you see the first guy goes down, so then right here is just going to start a whole chain effect of bullshit up in this bitch. So the main thing you're going to see me doing, I'm going to be going after the uh, the targets. You see him by uh, a blue uh, diamond or whatever you want to call that shit. And that guy right there who just died, cross heaven or whatever the fuck his name is. That guy was just bad. He was using the, the asshole class, the Van Douche, the Vanguard. He didn't know what the fuck he was doing. So basically he was dying the whole goddamn game. Now you're going to see me, I'm going to pop in and out of that power. There he goes again, dying again. So you're going to see me, I pop in and out of this hunter mode power. When I have it on, I can't see that little blue diamond. So I have a hard time distinguishing where I need to go. So I pop that shit on. You can leave it on the entire game if you want. It really has no effect if you leave it on or off. But I couldn't see the target. So I had no choice but to turn that shit off. And then right there, fucking rock <laughs> These fucking rockets. I swear to God. I, I tell my friends about these shits all the time. You know, the, the problem with this game is that it goes after the highest ranked player first. And I have a pretty high rank. I think I'm top 100 in the world, I believe, or close to top 100 in the world. But god damn, these fucking rockets are right here. There's the good teammate that I'm trying to save, and I see I'm fucked right here. I was trying to kill the bad guy. I realized I was fucked. I was like, right, let me at least try and get there. I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna revive myself and just get the fuck out of there. Fuck that shit. I'll take these shits out in a second. But like I was saying, man, being the highest ranked player in the room, they fucking target your ass. I mean, they come after you like a motherfucker. Right here, I was like, ooh, I see a kill streak. Look at all those enemies. Look at that shit. And of course, by the time I get over here and I fire this fucking rocket, I miss the goddamn target. There's the target. There's the motherfucker coming up here on this goddamn ladder and shit like that. So I missed him. That's what I wanted to get. I got the kill streak, but I wanted that asshole right there. And you're about to see in a second. I, I'm seeing this guy, and this is one of the things about like my tunnel vision. I have this in all games. Again, shot in my side. I turn to the side. I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> it's all those enemies. So like, okay, let me kill this motherfucker real quick. Then I'm a haul ass. Now you see me just haul ass out this bitch. I'm like, fuck that man. I'm not like dying. Cause you know the thing is, I have this instinct where I have to win. I have to beat this fucking game. So naturally, I'm hauling ass. I'm going to make sure I survive in this motherfucker because I want my goddamn money. I want my points. I want to be the man in this motherfucker. That's right, bitch. But anyway, get into what I want to talk about just a little bit. 
you know, comparing the Modern Warfare 3 content and Mass Effect content. Now, a while ago I said I might do a Let's Play. Now, here's what determines if I'm gonna do a Let's Play. I post up a Mass Effect video, I see five, 600 views, cool. I post up a Modern Warfare 3 video, I see 2,000 views. So obviously, I go by what's wanted on my channel. Now, I'm not one of these idiots that says, oh, I have to go by what gives me the money. I don't care about the money. I don't give a fuck what money gets put in, in for, for watching videos and shit. I could care less about that. What I care about is the content. And if people are watching Modern Warfare 3 content, that means I have a good market for Modern Warfare 3 content. And that's what I'm going to be posting up. So naturally, I'm still going to keep up with some Mass Effect. But obviously, a Let's Play, when I'm only getting 500 views a video, doesn't seem like it's going to get a lot of views on the content. So I'm like, you know what? I'll stick to Modern Warfare 3. I'll have little snippets of um, Mass Effect 3 here and there. So that's basically what I was going to do. Now, as far as Mass Effect 3 content right here, there's the final uh, wave, it's the extraction wave. I'm going to take a stupid death. We'll get into that in a second. Now, another thing people asked me about was a breakdown of each class. Now, let me explain something. There are 30 classes in Mass Effect 3. Now, realistically, it's more like 24 because when you count the humans, they have a male and female, but they're the same as the exact shit. I could sit here and do a breakdown of every single class. I'm not going to. And it's not because I don't feel like doing all the videos. It's because there's no right or wrong way to do it. Yeah, there's some benefits. There's some really good ways of ranking up certain classes. But for the most part, it doesn't really matter. You could fuck up your class completely and you're still kind of ranked up. I mean, some of these classes are naturally better than the others. And I'm not going to get into it for those who don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. People know a Salarian and a Sari, they kick ass. A Turian fucking sucks. Turian is the worst goddamn class in this fucking game, man. So that shit annoys the shit out of you. You don't want to use that motherfucker. But anyway, I'm not going to do a breakdown of all the classes. I'm not going to do a whole fucking video showing you, oh, this is how I rank on my class. No, I don't really give a flying fuck. I don't care what the classes look like. <laughs> look, if you could kill people, that means you've done the class right, right? That's all you need to do. If you know exactly what the fuck you're doing, then you don't need to worry about, oh, I need a breakdown of the class. And right here, you're going to see my mistake. I see a whole bunch of enemies right here, right? But what don't I see? I don't see what's behind me. So right here, I get my ass flambéed by a fucking pyro. I realize I'm in a shitty fucking spot. So now I'm just going to haul ass and say, fuck this shit. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> Too bad that goddamn vision doesn't tell you there's a motherfucker behind you with a flamethrower, right? That'd be a nice power. No, they don't give it to you in this bitch. So... I got out of there, I realized, you know, my teammates were sitting here in the extraction. There's no point sitting in the extraction. All you have to do is be here when the final timer hits zero. That's it. You don't have to sit in there for the whole two minutes. You don't need to sit in there. There's no bonus power for sitting in there for two minutes. So I'm like, fuck this. I'm not going to sit in there and get my ass kicked with all these enemies. Imagine all these enemies swarming your ass. So basically, I kept my ass as far away from it as possible, kept my teammates out of trouble by staying all the way on the other side of the map, and there we go. We're going to get a partial extraction because one asshole was dead. And what are you going to do? I can't fucking control what my idiot teammates do. So there we go. We win the round. You guys will see my points in there. It took 22 minutes to finish that game. The video was like 23, 24 minutes with all these loading screens and shit. And everybody knows these fucking loading screens are ridiculous. Anyway, as always... Rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. Yes, I will have some more Mass Effect 3 content, but like I said, probably not going to do the Let's Play and have like 200 views on a motherfucker and then just keep spamming out videos and shit like that. <laughs> so y'all can enjoy the Mass Effect 3 co-op videos that we'll be posting. There you see all my points and level ups and shit like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.